Websites face a daily onslaught of attacks. One of those attacks has a single goal, take that website down. Hackers do this with an attack known as a distributed denial of service attack or DDoS for short. So how does it work? Mm -hmm. To start, a hacker needs some firepower, or in this case, a horde of zombies. No, wait, that's not right. In this case, they need a botnet. A botnet is a horde of infected devices that are waiting for instructions to send network traffic to an attacker specified target. To build a botnet, the attacker infects devices with code that allows them to send remote commands. In this case, devices commonly include computers, firewalls and routers, and Internet of Things or IoT devices. IoT devices can include things like web cameras or even a fridge that's connected to the internet. As a device is compromised, it gets added to this botnet and they simply become zombies waiting for instructions from the attacker. When the attacker has a target for the DDoS attack, they send instructions to the entire botnet telling them to send network traffic to the specified target. This target can be a website that when it starts receiving more and more of this traffic, begins to struggle with trying to serve all of the web pages up to the users. Because those web servers can't keep up with the load of network traffic they're receiving, they start to drop some of that network traffic. For the average user, when they're seeing this from the outside, it looks like the website becomes non-responsive. Thankfully, these attacks can be filtered with DDoS mitigation services. These are companies that simply take the network traffic first, filter out the bad requests, and only allow legitimate requests to come through so that the website stays operational. 